Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to see how to resolve this trust relationship issue. So these days like we are working remotely and we need to connect to our test and development servers located remotely which is hosted in vCloud environment and these machines computers are already hosted in the added to the domain and when we connect to these uh, computers we at times tend to this, see this issue. So this issue states like the trust relation between this workstation and the primary domain failed. So what we need to do? So I'll let you know how to you know quickly resolve this issue. So this issue occurs in all the client and server operating systems, specifically in Windows 7 to Windows 10. If you are using Windows servers like Windows Server 2016 or 19, anything you are using. So you tend to see this issues when the servers or the client are host, uh, added to the domain. So there are different reasons um, because of the problem with user account or the client and do domain server, the relationship between those uh, client and domain, uh, the client in the sense the uh, computers that those are added to the domain. So how to actually resolve this? This is very simple. First, uh, remove this uh, computer which you are facing uh, issue. You have to remove this computer from the domain actual domain and add it to a work group and then again log in and add this uh, uh, computer to the uh, domain so this actually resolves this trust relationship issue so i'll let you know how so first you have to log in as a local administrator so you try to log in as a with the domain uh, username and password so you are not able to connect now you have to you know get the username password detail of the local administrator so local administrator will be the local administrator of the computer that you are trying to connect so you have to mention this uh, local administration username and password so you have to enter uh, then you get into the uh, computer actually you are logged into the computer as a local administrator so once you logged in you have to uh, use this shortcut here so you uh, go to the run command like windows key plus r so you go to the open the run command box and you type sysdm.cpl so this actually launches the system properties window. So this system properties window gives you option to change from the domain to the work group. So this is one sample window here. This is the system properties. So I have one more workflow to navigate in case you don't remember the shortcut command. You can directly uh, go to use a different path. So I'll also have uh, I also have mentioned that in upcoming slides. So you have to click on the change button here. Once you click the change, you go to the you are presented with a small window which is called computer name and domain changes where you can go and change the computer name and the domain also you can rename the computer name and also you can change the domain also so here what we are going to do is since we are facing the trust relationship issue we have to first add this remove this uh, computer from the domain and you know add it to a work group first so this meaning it is clear from the domain so this computer is not as part of the domain so i have click the work group here so in the work group you enter any name so i have entered the work group name here click ok so once you click ok it uh, asks that you are moving from a domain to a work group so make sure that you have a work group credential ready with you yes i have that so i click ok here it says that okay i have now clearly moved to a work group now i am no more part of the uh, domain group now so i have moved out and in, uh, in order to you know confirm everything i need to restart so anything uh, for any changes to take into effect you have to first uh, restart the computer so this is what is happening here you are restarting the computer you, you are taken to this window again so you have to restart now select re restart now so windows 10 this is a windows 10 operating system so this is restarting so once you restart it takes you to the uh, login window again so you have to press uh, control all delete login again as a administrator here local administrator here so local computers administrator account in it so local administrator you log in again i said that earlier we used a shortcut path to navigate to this computer prop system properties now i can say that uh, i'll have uh, another workflow like you have to launch the file explorer in windows uh, 10 systems uh, right click on this pc you see the properties uh, option here select the properties option so you are taken to the control panel system security system details so you see all the computer related details here 
so computer name full name work uh, work group everything you see here so once you change to domain you see the domain name here so you have to click on the change settings now so you are going to add this computer again to the domain now so it is already moved to the work group you are going to add this uh, computer to the domain so full computer name and you have to uh, you are in the system properties now click on the change so change you click on this uh, radio button here domain so put the proper full domain name here whatever uh, domain name has been provided by your team by your organization or whatever domain you have created so mention this name and you if you want you can change the uh, computer name else you can keep the same name so mention the um, uh, domain name here proper domain name and once you uh, select ok after entering the domain name you are taken to the windows security domain changes here so you have to enter the domain administrator's username password so domain administrator means he has all the rights to change everything so in this uh, domain admin has the option to add this specific system to the domain so you have to uh, get that and uh, mention this uh, add the credential appropriately here so once you log in it says that okay welcome so your current uh, computer has been re-added to this. so you remove from the domain and you are re-adding that to the domain so your computer is now added so again you have to say that uh, restart this computer so restart now once it is restarted so now you can go and select other users so you have to log in as a domain user now so you have to select the other user option here so once you select other user by default it says that sign in into your domain name so whatever domain you have entered that the domain will be listed here so based on that you have to enter the username and password there so once you enter uh, once you are uh, ent entered in the computer so you uh, need to confirm by going to again the uh, uh, com control panel system details here so check that your computer is already added to the domain so i can see that earlier it was work group now it has been added to the uh, domain here so this confirms that your system is now added to the domain and you are able to successfully log into the system so this is the very simple steps here to you know when you see this uh, trust relationship issue here so i am going navigating back to the first page this is how you go step by step and change uh, solve this trust relation between this workstation and primary domain when you see this issue please follow these steps to resolve that issue so that's it uh, guys so in case you have any doubts related to this please uh, mention in the comment section i'll be happy to help you so i'll also be you know creating more such informative videos so please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if you like this video thank you guys and definitely i'll meet you in a new video thank you bye see you